next five years or, or so, depending, I would say our main focus would be these two, two, two okay. core business, the plantation, as we are expanding in Kalimantan, and the health business, uh, which we are expanding in, in uh, in uh, Kuantan, mm -hmm. or even Kuala Tengano, for that matter, we are also going to expand it. Mm -hmm. uh, even Klana Jaya, we are also try to expand it. Mm -hmm. Because I think uh, sooner or later, uh, we the, with the concept of Malaysian society, I think health becomes a very important, uh, mm -hmm. very important uh, issue. Even I saw in Banama, uh, don't eat too much uh, sugar and all this. The squeezing out of the apples on your advertisement. <laughs> and so. it becomes a rotten apple. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, thanks for watching that ad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so if you're going, I mean, uh, quite aggressively into healthcare and we're talking about um, challenges and competitiveness, would you find that it is equally challenging and competitive uh, with the increased demand in healthcare? Do you find that there's an, a, a tre tremendous increase in demand in healthcare in the country? What do you think? One of the major challenges would be uh, getting the right professionals. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of these professionals wants to be uh, in town, mm -hmm. in the urban areas, and uh, most likely they do not want to be in Tragano or whatever it is. Kuantan is still a good place with a highway, you know, the highway, and the beach, two hours from yeah, Kuala Lumpur yeah. and all this. But uh, uh, as the country progresses, I am sure the transportation system is going to be upgraded too. And then uh, uh, sooner or later, what is more important is uh, having money, but bad health is still not, 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 not <laughs> good. So it's better to have a good health, but less money. Okay, so oh, all right, that, that one ch that is one challenge that's uh, being identified, and also a shortage of staff. Yeah, I think that's also another uh, another challenge. But uh, in terms of the location, which is uh, at the east coast, now uh, why is there? Uh, are there any plans to come perhaps uh, over this side? Um, we, we, you know, we speak about locations as two types, mm -hmm. virtual and. Physical. Exactly. I, I, I will go to the uh, virtual first, and I don't think the market is homogeneous. Mm. And the market, um, you can segment it up. Mm. And the top part of the market, okay. um, I think it's clustered. Cluttered with uh, players. There's a lot too many players inside there. The top market. The right? top part of the market. Mm. And especially if you talk about top part in Klam Valley. Mm. and maybe also in the other big cities you know but if you talk about the middle part mid price range mm -hmm. and i think there is still vacuum in the market there's still demand for still that. demand mm -hmm. and, and especially um, at the smaller cities um, where the demand for that kind of services is high and this is the area that we want to to come in you know virtual segment uh, that price, mid-range price, and the smaller cities where, you know, the big players are not there and, and the, the, uh, the demand for the high-end um, hospitals um, are not, not uh, slightly weaker, mm -hmm. and the demand for the mid-price range, and hence where we did at the corridor. And furthermore, you know, our head office in Kuantan, mm -hmm. so, you know, we want to play in our backyard, and that's, that's the reason why it's the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Because you're based um, actually yeah. in, in the East Coast, is that right? So Klana Jaya Medical Center, which is in Slangor, now how, how did that come about? The, um, it was there, it was there in Klana Jaya, um, and, and, and it was doing well, so we, we maintain it, you know, um, and it's making profits, it's, there's no reason um, not, not to do that. And when we say our we'll focus in the East Coast, that doesn't mean we will not present outside of if okay. it's coast, but the focus, that's where the concentration will be and that's, that's where we pay a lot of time and attention. But doesn't mean that we will not be going out of, of that area. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so uh, chances are that uh, you may actually be expanding further. Okay, um, not a short commercial break and we'll come back. We'll find out more about how TDM is, uh, of course, always trying to be very environmentally friendly uh, in its operations, especially in the plantation sector. Do stay with us. We'll be right back.
And we have a special focus here on TD Amber Heart Plantation Company, which is also placing sustainable development as a priority in the group's business policy framework. Uh, and when we speak about environment, it is of course water, air, and also earth where we live and also work. All this is important for us to sustain and in a business like the plantation business. Uh, what are the initiatives taken by TD Amber Heart to protect the environment while doing your business? Yeah, we've got um, a few initiatives that we do. Before I elaborate to that, I, I want to go back to the why we are doing doing that. You know, mm -hmm. I think um, and the entire management and the group and our board thinks in today's world, um, we cannot anymore neglect the environment and the society if we were going to sustain our profit. Mm -hmm. And the entire motivations why we want to go and, and sustain the environment is because we want to go and sustain the profit. In the past, I think we uh, can be slightly irresponsible, mm -hmm. only focus on profit and forget about the environment. Mm -hmm. I think in today's world, if a business does that, mm -hmm. um, they would not be able to last long. Mm -hmm. So at the plantation level, the, um, of course, we've got to sustain our plantations, and our plantations now are very old. Um, we've got already, we are on the third generations of plants. We're replanting three times. Right. If we do not sustain our environment there, then, then our yield will go down, our profit will go down. So what we do, we try to recycle back all the organic material back into the, um, into the, um, into, into the estates so we don't throw that away. We, um, improving our waste management systems you know we don't throw waste in in the water uh, we recover back the waste mm -hmm. we put more uh, crops um, uh, crop covering items and we used um, natural thing as much as we can environment you know like ban oil you know mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and then um, at the terrain where because our land are not flat at the terrain where we cannot do mechanizations then we use buffalo to carry to carry that that path fruits. Mm -hmm. uh, fruits. So yes. wouldn't it cost more to be environmentally friendly perhaps? Because you have to you know think of all these like, techniques. Like, and no, actually if you do it correct it cost it, it costs you less and make you more profit. Mm -hmm. And the motivations of doing it because we want to make profit, we want to sustain that profit. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason um, we do that. If we don't do that we cannot sustain our land the land become degraded mm -hmm. and you make less profit when that happens mm -hmm. now on that note also yes yb would you like to add it or? yeah uh, we we last year at the board uh, we have approved one uh, sludge uh, mm -hmm. whereby we have uh, make one in Tangano to convert all this waste into a compost uh, manual by composing it uh, we are reusing it and having a, a better organic uh, recycle. In, 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 in a straight English form, it is uh, using the compost uh, fertilizer mm -hmm. instead of the straight fertilizer or chemical fertilizers. Mm -hmm. uh, by that, uh, that, some technicalities of soil management, you okay. mix up with the soil, it will last longer. Mm -hmm. You will give a better uh, return in terms of, of uh, that the, the, the soil also becomes better. It, it doesn't become so so sandy or so... So it saves cost as well? Really? It saves cost. In the long run, yes. Mm. What, long run. what Dato was explaining, so when we recycle back our organic material inside our land, mm. so the uh, texture of our land, mm. they maintain it so that the land can hold the fertilizer, in organic fertilizer you put it. Mm. And because of the ability of the land to hold it, and you don't have to put the fertilizer as much. Mm. And this year we estimate because of that we save quite a lot of, of number in the neighborhood of like 10 to 12, 10 percent, 10 to 20 percent of saving in of the uh, organic fertilizer and our budget for organic fertilizer is a lot it's, it's about 35 million a year so 20 percent of that is significant saving wow. so so going back to environmental friendly million. it's safe money 
Mm, great. Okay, gentlemen, um, unfortunately, the time is almost up. Uh, perhaps uh, we'll leave the uh, yeah, chairman yeah, uh, to uh, say a few words. As a note, uh, before I say thank you to Bernama in having uh, uh, us here, I would like to say that one of the major challenges that we are going to face in Malaysia is, is still a foreign labor. Foreign labor. Because of the shortage of our own labor, which is not... Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, well adapted or doesn't want to work in the plantation. Uh, with that, also I would like to send uh, to say a word of thanks to the Chief Minister of Tengganu, Dato Amar Sain, in giving us the trust to lead uh, TDM, and I think uh, we will perform it well enough to show that uh, what is being given uh, the responsibility to us, uh, we will give it back to the shareholders. Thank you so Thank much, Dato. Why be Dato Maji Roslan bin Awan Cik, who is chairman of TDM Berhad, and of course in Cik Badul Hisham bin Mahari, CEO of TDM Berhad. Um, gentlemen, you've been very, very, uh, you know, <laughs> very, very open in your comments. Thank you so much. Being a public listed company, of course, we appreciate. We on the press side appreciate a very open communication with companies like uh, TDM Berhad, a plantation company, and we hope they'll be around for a lot more years. As um, um, you know, we see a lot being done in the plantation sector, which is the lead in still Malaysia's economy. Thank you so much for joining us on Best Talk. I'm Ann Edwards. We'll see you again.